2020, you did it again. Yet again, I am here to talk to you about a botched amateur art restoration. I've already done a video about it. Definitely go check it out. And this time it's a different one. Hi, my name is Lucilla Ronai and welcome to The Conservation Starter. I am a trained conservator and I'm wanting to talk to you about botched amateur art restoration and why it is so bad. So, so bad. Particularly, I want to talk to you about this one. So what's the definition of a botched art restoration? For me, it's a grotesque and inept attempt by an amateur to do art restoration, which really should be done by a professional. And no matter how well-meaning they are, it usually leads to disastrous results with cultural heritage being damaged and irreparably destroyed. Sometimes the results can be as terrifying as they are hilarious, but the bottom line is cultural heritage gets destroyed. So in this current one that I'm going to talk to you about, I am relying on media reports. So according to the media, this time around, it's a 20th century statue on a building in Palencia in Spain. And it obviously has had a restoration. And I think we can all agree it has been done by an amateur, definitely not a professional with very disastrous results. I guess you could call it cartoonish, like a potato, maybe something a three-year-old could do, but definitely not something we want for our cultural heritage. Yeah, it's, I, I don't even have words for it. The articles that I've read obviously focus on the more sensational aspects of the botched art restoration, but they do make a really interesting point that it looks strangely similar to Ecke Ommo, uh, which is the monkey Christ, which happened back in 2012. So this is going back, but there's been quite a few botched art restorations in between then and now, but I think monkey Christ is one of the most famous or infamous. Spain's Professional Association for Conservators and Restorers have released a statement about this particular botched art restoration and others. It is in Spanish, so I'm relying on a translation, but the main points they make in the article are there is an increase in non-experts doing art restoration and they are irreparably damaging works of art. They also make a point that there's a lack of recognition for professional conservators and acknowledgement of what a trained conservator is and why they're required and necessary. Another point they made is this happens to all kinds of heritage, not just paintings, but also sculptures and statues and buildings. They also make a very clear point that painters and sculptors, while very skilled at their craft, are not skilled at conservation. So there's a difference between making something from scratch and preserving something for the future, stopping damage and stabilizing it to ensure physical and chemical damage doesn't continue. Very different things. And they also made a really scary point that we're only aware of the botched restorations that are making the headlines. And there are actually a lot more botched restorations that are a bit more aesthetically acceptable or a bit less shocking a bit less sensational. So they're not making the headlines, but they are still happening and they are just as damaging to our cultural heritage. And they conclude by saying there needs to be more regulations in place to ensure this does not happen again and that there is more support for trained professionals, trained conservators whose job it is to actually do this. So I had a really enthusiastic commenter on my previous botched art restoration video who actually said that she thought jail time should be a repercussion for people that do these kinds of botched art restorations. And while some might say that that's a bit harsh, others might not. So like Monkey Christ, this botched restoration made the rounds on the internet and there's been some incredible memes going around. I think a meme that I shared in my last video has now been updated and it is superb and on point. Talking about things going around the internet. There is a Facebook group called The Art of the Conservator and this botched art restoration made the rounds and was a source of discussion. And a Spanish conservator made some really interesting comments that I want to pass on to you. They said that this focus on Spain and emphasizing that these botched restorations are all happening in Spain is really unrealistic and that botched restorations happen all around the world. There's the example of the Buddha in China. There's the example of the sculpture in Brazil and the example of the castle in Turkey. So I think it's really important to acknowledge these botched restorations are happening everywhere, in every culture, in every part of the world. And we shouldn't just focus on Spain. 
also she made a really interesting point that these stories are becoming so sensationalized that in a way it might almost be motivating people to do botched art restorations and that's quite terrifying so even if they don't lead to more botched amateur restorations it might lead to some stories being fabricated about them so Eche Omo or Monkey Christ which I'm just going to start calling Monkey Christ because my pronunciation is terrible, sorry. So Monkey Christ was rumoured to have been done on purpose as a gimmick and that was debunked, but there is no denying that there was a lot of benefits that came from it going viral. So I think there was a lot of economic benefits to the town and also a lot of tourism generated by that story. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we can't risk the internet and internet fame and sensationalization motivating people to do more botched amateur art restorations on purpose. The accidental ones are bad enough. We do not need intentional ones as well. Basically our heritage can't take it. It's lasted this long, it stood the test of time but there is no guarantee that the heritage can withstand botched amateur art restoration attempts. So like I said before, I've already done a video like this and everything I said there still applies. So definitely go check that video out. I'm not going to repeat myself in this video, but the main points are conservators are trained professionals. We spend a lifetime continually developing our professional skills. We know what we're doing and we hold ourselves and our peers accountable. So we are the people you should take your heritage to. Think of us like object doctors. You wouldn't entrust your health to a hack or non-professional doctor. So have the same approach with your cultural heritage. Take it to the object doctors. If you want to know more about what conservation is or who conservators are, I have a whole channel all about that. So definitely check it out. So until I have something new to say, I think this is going to be my last art conservator reacts to a botched amateur art restoration for a while. I hope it's because there are no more botched restoration attempts. Fingers crossed for 2021. But yeah, there's no guarantees. I guess the main thing is I don't want to contribute to the sensationalization of botched amateur art restoration and I don't want to have any hand in motivating people to do more botched restorations. So this is my last video of 2020. I have so many more lined up. The first one for next year is going to be looking back on the past year and being a conservator during bushfires and closures and lockdowns. So stay tuned for that. If you never want to miss a video, please do consider subscribing. My channel is all about conservation and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below so I am continuing my secret at the end of the video to say thank you for sticking around so this time my secret is conservators often go into the storerooms to do collection surveys that means we're in the storerooms amongst the objects looking at one really quickly to make an assessment what's its condition does it need treatment and if so what and does it need new storage housing that kind of thing so I was in a storeroom by myself and sometimes I sing to myself and next minute I get a message from a colleague saying sing to me angel of music and that's when I realize that the storm I'm in there is a storm underneath and there is no sound barrier between the two of them so I promptly stopped singing and I think it was in part because I was embarrassed about my voice but probably mostly due to my song choice of Phantom of the Opera yeah so that's my secret for this week. Thanks for joining me for another video and I'll see you in the next one. Ecce homo. I'm going to say that again. Ecce homo. Ecce homo. It is a 20th... 20th. Ecce homo. Ecce homo. Ecce homo. Ecce homo.